In the depths of the 1960s, a television series emerged that took viewers on an unprecedented underwater journey. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea not only submerged its audience into the world of ocean exploration, but also left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Have you ever found yourself wondering how this TV series has impacted your life? Or perhaps, if there's a particular scene or moment that still lingers in your memory. Before we dive into some intriguing facts about the show, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Feel free to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your unique perspective adds to the depth of this remarkable series. Now, let's explore some fascinating insights about Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea and discover what made it a truly iconic television experience. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea was a popular TV series that originally aired from 1964 to 1968. The show was created by Irwin Allen, known for his work in the science fiction genre. Set in a futuristic, high-tech submarine called the Seaview, the series followed the adventures of its crew as they explored the depths of the world's oceans and encountered various underwater threats, including sea monsters, espionage, and extraterrestrial forces. The series featured iconic characters like Admiral Nelson, played by Richard Basehart, and Captain Crane, portrayed by David Hedison. These characters, along with the rest of the diverse crew, brought depth and charisma to the show. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea was known for its unique blend of science fiction, adventure, and espionage, offering viewers a thrilling and imaginative experience with each episode. The show had a significant impact on popular culture, contributing to the fascination with undersea exploration and the unknown depths of the oceans. Its influence can still be seen in subsequent submarine-themed movies and TV series. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea remains a beloved classic that continues to be celebrated by fans of vintage science fiction television, making it a memorable part of the genre's history. The pilot for Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, titled 11 Days to Zero, was initially filmed in color but shown in black and white during its original broadcast. However, in 1993, the Sci-Fi Channel aired the pilot in its original color format, complete with the original opening credits. The pilot can also be found in color on the Season 1, Volume 1 DVD release of the series, along with the black and white version as a bonus feature. This unique aspect of the show's history highlights the transition from black and white to color television in the 1960s, and the subsequent efforts to make the pilot episode available to fans in its intended format. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea that fans can now experience this iconic episode as it was originally filmed. In addition to its color transformation, the series ventured into paranormal storylines during its final two seasons. Creatures like mummies, werewolves, talking puppets, and even an evil leprechaun made appearances on the Seaview submarine sporting the distinctive low-budget makeup and costume designs of Irwin Allen's other TV shows from that era. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea continued to evolve, embracing the trends of its time and delivering a unique blend of science fiction, adventure, and the supernatural. The props used in the TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea were also featured in other popular shows of the era, including Lost in Space, The Time Tunnel, Land of the Giants, and Batman. This shared use of props highlights the cost-saving practices in television production during the 1960s. It wasn't uncommon for studios to repurpose props and sets to make the most of their resources, leading to a sense of familiarity for viewers of these shows. These reused props added a unique connection between the different series of that time, creating a shared universe of sorts in terms of visual elements. Fact 3, an often referenced running joke is that in many episodes of the series, characters lurch to camera movements on the visibly static set to give the illusion that the sea view had sustained impact. This was an old movie trick and was commonly used by other television shows of the period, including Star Trek, but none did it so frequently, nor with such relish as Voyage. Hence, the technique is still commonly known as sea view rock and roll. In the world of 1964 TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, there's a peculiar phenomenon known as Seaview Rock and Roll. This term refers to a running joke that's often referenced in the show. 
In many episodes, you can spot the characters lurching to camera movements on the visibly static set. This unusual maneuver was designed to create the illusion that the Seaview submarine had sustained some kind of impact. The trick used on the show, known as Seaview Rock and Roll, was unique to Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. It was an old movie trick and was also used by other TV shows of the period, including the famous Star Trek. However, what set Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea apart was the frequency and enthusiasm with which they employed this technique. So, when you watch the show, keep an eye out for these amusing moments of Seaview Rock and Roll. It's a testament to the creative and sometimes quirky ways in which TV shows of the 1960s brought their stories to life on screen. And that's a unique tidbit from the world of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Henry Kulke's Tragic End, a look into Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Henry Kulke, known for his role as Chief Curly Jones in the 1964 TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, had a promising start in the show. However, tragedy struck in February 1965 when he suffered a fatal heart attack, cutting short his life and career. Kulke had an impressive resume with over 100 features and television episodes to his name. His sudden departure from the series left a void in the cast and had a significant impact on the show. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, created by Irwin Allen, was known for its unique blend of science fiction, adventure, and espionage. In its second season, the show faced demands from ABC to adopt a somewhat lighter tone, leading to an increase in Monster of the Week type plots. However, the series still retained some elements from its initial season, including storylines revolving around Cold War themes and excursions into near-future speculative fiction. The show's evolution and the challenges it faced in maintaining its tone are a testament to the dynamics of television production in the 1960s. The sudden loss of Henry Kulke, who portrayed Chief Curly Jones, marked a significant moment in the series' history, affecting both the show's narrative and its ensemble cast. While the show continued to explore new territory, the memory of Henry Kulke and his contribution to Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea remains a part of its legacy. His presence in the series and the tragic end to his career are notable aspects of the show's history that continue to be remembered by fans. In summary, Henry Kulke's role in Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea and the subsequent challenges the series faced in adapting to ABC's demands provide insights into the show's history and the impact of unexpected events on its narrative and cast. As we navigate the depths of nostalgia, it's undeniable that the 1964 TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea holds a special place in the hearts of its admirers. This classic show submerged us into the mysterious world beneath the waves, unveiling tales of daring exploration, high-tech submarines, and captivating adventures that left a lasting imprint on our imaginations. Now, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this remarkable series. Was it the charismatic Captain Lee Crane, the cutting-edge Seaview submarine, or the thrilling undersea escapades that captured your fascination? Perhaps it was the futuristic technology, the timeless Cold War context, or the memorable characters that made Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea a cherished memory for you. Your thoughts and memories are like treasure troves, waiting to be shared and celebrated. What are your favorite moments? Which episodes left you breathless, teeming with excitement, or even inspired to explore the mysteries of the deep? We'd love to hear from you and relive those cherished memories together. So, whether you choose to dive into the comments or simply take a moment to reminisce about this iconic series, thank you for joining us on this voyage of nostalgia. Your insights and reflections enrich the tapestry of our shared love for Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Together, we keep the spirit of this timeless show alive. Thank you for your time and interest. We look forward to reading your thoughts, and remember, this outro was...